Welcome back guys. Uh, today I thought I'd take a look at the new Manjaro Deepin that was just released. Now I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to uh, take a look at M Manjaro Deepin and then I'm going to install the Deepin desktop onto a plain vanilla Arch install. And in order to do that you install sudo pacman dash capital S space deepen space deepen dash extra and that's how you install the deepen now um, I'm using the LXDM uh, login manager or display manager in my plain vanilla arch install <clears throat> um, and normally deepen uses light DM so we'll see how that turns out but uh, let's take a look at Manjaro Deepin. Now Manjaro Deepin, it's the new version 1608. Evidently there are multiple changes and improvements. Now I don't normally use Deepin. I'm not a big fan of Deepin, but I wasn't a big fan of Cinnamon until I lived with it for a little while and then I began to appreciate its um, its, its merits. Now <clears throat> Deepin uh, in this new version, there are new native applications, Deepin File Manager, Deepin Calendar, Deepin Image Viewer. The Deepin dot can now be displayed in three different sizes on any side of the screen. And what you do is you click, let me move this up a little bit, you click, right click the, the panel. You can change the mode. Uh, right now I'm in efficient mode. In uh, the default is fashion mode and as you can see it's kind of like a transparent dock at the bottom of the screen uh, if you again right click you can change the location you can not only leave it at the bottom but you can go top left or right for size you can go small medium and large I have it set to small size right now and status you can smart hide it you can keep it hidden or you can keep it shown I have keep shown so that's the changes in the dock now deep in terminal has a new look and now offers a quake mode and I believe that is I want to say alt f4 a dock variant has been added to deep in GTK theme some further development also went into deep in icon theme wallpapers can be selected from directly from the desktop if you right click on the desktop now you can set your wallpaper. And one thing I haven't found is the ability to center the wallpaper, stretch the wallpaper, things like that. So uh, that I'm still looking for. If any of you guys know where that is, if you're more familiar with Deepin, you can let me know. Manjaro Deepin is using Linux kernel 4419. That is the long-term support stable kernel. Manjaro welcome couple of uh, calamaris for installer and there's also a command line uh, optional window managers mutter gala or metacity uh, from what I gather uh, even if you switch to metacity you still won't be able to install compiz uh, then you have chromium evolution is your mail manager LibreOffice Nautilus and additionally there's a new deepen file manager X archiver deepen movie plus VLC deepen screenshot deepen game gimp events calculator XF burn Manjaro printer Xane Pam Mac Manjaro settings manager light DM deepen greeter deconf editor gnome system monitor G parted B Baobab system analyzer ISO USB Yawert based Devel. Now, this is <clears throat> this install is the Manjaro Deepin install. Let's move this over here and, and take a look at the command center. If I click on the little gear here, the command center comes out. If you don't like the picture, you can change the picture to whatever it is that you feel more comfortable with. Uh, let's go with the little kitty cat. So and then we have display, resolution, rotation, brightness. 
default applications so for example browser um, it's a, it's actually chromium that's the default you can change those display resolution rotation brightness you've got default applications personalization so you can change your window uh, banner up, up the top you can change your icons and you can add icons to this group right now uh, I have Fienza uh, the deep the standard deep in icons compass you could so you can change those change your cursor and you can change your fonts uh, for the network you can see I have wireless Broadcom no problem at all Bluetooth sound you've got a mixer and microphone sound effects uh, really nice uh, really nice system manager date and time power management you can change that so display will suspend after never computer will suspend after never password required to wake the display password required to wake the computer so you can change any of those you can also configure your mouse your keyboard there is system information and shut down okay so that is the deep in uh, the Manjaro Deepin control panel. Now, if you want to add uh, wallpapers, which is what I did, if you go to the file manager and you will have to open your file manager as root, they are in user, share, and I believe it's backgrounds. Yes, so I just added mine to the backgrounds and I'm good to go. So if you add your wallpapers to backgrounds, that's where it goes to uh, pull up the background wallpaper. If I right click the desktop, set wallpaper, you'll see it will pull up the various uh, wallpapers that I have and I can change those and I can either select only desktop or only lock screen. So now if I want to, I can move, as I said, I can move the panel to the top left or right. I can change. I like the efficient mode because it shows all of my uh, system tray icons on the right where I'm used to them. If you go with the, the other setting, fashion mode, they are now all in this particular icon right here. As you can see, you've got uh, System Screen Recorder, uh, Simple Screen Recorder, I've got Peace Sensor, and the Update. But nevertheless, uh, this is the 1608 Manjaro Deepin. Uh, it is very nice. Um, if you're if you are used to uh, cinnamon, I guess, so you might want to give it a try. It's, it's very different from most of the Linux desktop environments. But once you get used to it, there are people who swear by it and won't use anything else. Now, if you take a look at DistroWatch, Deepin was also released. 15.3, uh, that's the Debian-based version. Again, it is almost identical uh, however of course it won't have any of the proprietary Manjaro uh, features and the uh, package management system is apt uh, so it'll be apt-get you won't have access to Pac-Man or Yawert uh, so um, and I think Deepin is based on either testing or unstable now um, that's the Debian version. So if we take a look at the website, let's see what that is. Oh, it's based on Debian Unstable. And I'm going to pause the video and I will bring, bring it back when I have the Deepin desktop installed on a plain vanilla Arch installation. B2.
be right back guys welcome back guys <clears throat> so this now is the deepen desktop installation that I have uh, installed on top of a plain vanilla arch installation we'll bring up the uh, control panel and as you can see it's virtually identical if I go to user accounts uh, display same default applications everything is pretty much the same there's Wi-Fi you've got the uh, mixer and your speakers and your volume date and time power management mouse keyboard you can set up hotkeys in the function keys they're all the default function keys all of the terminal quake window is alt F2 terminal is control alt T so there are multiple hotkeys already configured that's the control panel the bottom the dock is exactly the same if you right click it you can change the mode as you can see you can add icons to your panel uh, you can move it bottom top left or right medium small and large and the status all is the same uh, each install both installs reflect the newest changes to the uh, to to the deep in desktop which uh, is that new version that's why Debian Deepin came out with an update. It's because the Deepin desktop has been updated and they're all reflecting that. So this is basically identical. Now I will say that normally Deepin uses the Light DM display manager. I am using LXDM on this particular install and when I first booted up I got a gray screen once I selected deepen in LXDM it it booted to a gray screen then I hit control alt delete and logged back out and back in and it was fine so I think that's because I'm using LXDM a little bit of a bug I'll probably if I if I decide to keep this I will switch over to from LXDM to light DM to get rid of that issue but uh, if you install if you do a plain vanilla install with the deep in desktop you'll want to install light DM as your display manager not LXDM everything else works fine now if you take a look at the if you take a look at all the applications and again, you can do the same thing on both Manjaro and this plain vanilla install. If you click on the right, you, you'll move to just basically a master list of all of your uh, applications. And if you click on the little icon the top left, you can bring them up by category, which is the way I leave it. Um, but everything is there uh, and as you can see ev you know every ev they're all Linux applications so they work with what with whatever desktop environment you're using even though there is a um, deep in movie player uh, there is also um, SM player and I can use either one of those so if I go to video you've got deep in movie but I've also got MPV media player VLC so I can use any one of those but uh, deep in movie those are basically configured to fit and work nicely within the deep in desktop so guys that is it for this video I hope you enjoyed it it's a little uh, comparison between Manjaro, uh, 
deepen and d the deepen desktop installed on top of a plain vanilla arch install and as you can see there's not a whole lot different what you do get with Manjaro is all the proprietary um, packaging uh, applications, the Manjaro settings manager, the ability to change kernels easily, the ability to uh, install non-free drivers easily, uh, and the Manjaro repositories. So you do get a lot with Manjaro, uh, but if you if you run plain vanilla Arch, then you uh, will have no problems at all. So guys, that is it for this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for stopping by the channel today, and I'll see you soon. Take care.